hope you're all having a great day. Where I'm at, it's nice and warm, getting hot. <laughs> it's been cold the past few days. So usually when there's a hot day, that means there's cold days to follow. So I'm taking advantage of that time. Today we're gonna to be doing a double feature for this review. We have Yuji Itadori and we're going to have a remake because I did make a made some mistakes the first time I did the, his review. It's gonna be uh Satori Gojo and I might have pronounced that wrong but anyways so yes we're gonna do a double feature today review with these two figures they've been out for quite a while and I've got a lot of figures I feel like that I haven't done reviews for so leading up to the end of the year I'm just gonna knock these reviews out as quickly as possible before it gets too cold outside all right um yeah so let's get into the the box now the one thing I will say is that SH Figure Arts has the best collector friendly boxes. Look at these boxes here. They're easily storable. They're a perfect size. They contain the figure and the accessories. And they're about the size of my hand. Maybe a little bit smaller, but they're very great for collectors. And I think. You know, going forward, that will always be the case with SH Figuarts compared to Mezco's or Storm Collectibles, um, and then even like Mofex. So I think Tomashi Nations is going to always win in that category. All right, so let's get these two out of the box and we'll go over the figure. All right, here we are here. We have both figures, as you can see. They scale well together as Jogo. I'm sorry, Gojo. <laughs> I had to look at the package. Gojo, he is like the mentor. So obviously he's going to be taller than Itadori because he's like the teenager. Um, so the scaling wise is very nice. Um, and as a recording of this video, we also have Magami. He's up for pre-order, and then the girl, I can't think of her name, but she's also up for pre-order, so hopefully they go through the whole list of characters. Personally, I would like to see the 3-7 to seven Sorcerer, I can't think of his name right now, he won't the goggles, and he has a calculation or the ratios. I would like to see him. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get to the figures. Um, yeah, really, really great figures here. Yeah, the, the amount of detail in these figures, Tamashii Nations have never had a problem. And if you want anime characters, Tamashii Nations, I think, would be the go-to. Because they, they just do such a good job on replicating the, um, the character from the anime. Let's see, I'm trying to do this in a way to where you can see it. Because my head is going to, you know. Right, anyway, so, let's go over articulation. Um, so, Itadori can look down look up so even with his collar here I mean he can still look up you know that just kind of shows you the design of this figure and how well he executed it was I can spin his head around I'm not sure if it's removable or not probably so he can do his t-pose here has a great range see that the range is amazing we are double jointed. And there's a butterfly joint. His arms can go all the way around. Ab crunch, ab crunch you can go, you can tuck in this much. Which is uh, not the best, but it is there. Now, if he can go back this much, which is pretty good. It's decent. For his legs. We have our 90 degree, which there's a like, minimum hindering because of the jacket right here. 
Okay. Again, double jointed. There's even a fast swivel. For his feet, they can rotate, they extend, come up, there's a toe pivot. And I think now what Tomashi Nations is doing is they're putting in these metal pins. Maybe that helps with stability as far as posing goes. And maybe like so that the, the joint or the pin won't, obviously won't deteriorate or it may, but. Um, Yep, and then now for like a, a split, he's going to do this again because the jacket is hindering that movement. Okay. Yeah, really great figure. Okay. All right, next up we're gonna go to Gojo. Awesome figure and awesome character, probably my favorite in the show, or maybe second favorite. I know a lot of people don't like him because he's so confident of himself, and I guess some people find that annoying. But let's just start from the head. You go side to side, look down this much, look back, look up that much, which I think uh, Yuji might have more. Can't get, look further back. Than he can. Let's head this twist. He's got this like joint collar here. Again, a lot of range for his arms, just like Yuji. Butterfly joint is there. Double jointed. Okay, arms can turn around. Well, not perfectly, but it is good. And you can even see in there, there's that metal joint or that metal pin there. Okay. Oh, did I mess up the knot? Let me see. Okay, even again, you can kind of see it faintly there in his hand. His hand does twist all the way around. Okay, so he ab crunch, you can tuck in more further than UG. Extending backwards, about the same. For his legs, they can reach up really great actually. This is a soft plastic so there's like no hindering whatsoever. It can go all the way up. Here, yeah, very great extension. Double jointed. Okay. I'm not sure there's a thigh swivel. There is a thigh swivel. His foot can rotate all the way around, extends out, and there's a toe pivot. So pretty much the same mechanics as UG. Now let's get into the accessories. All right, I'll be right back. All right, for Itadori, he actually comes with quite a few accessories, which is a good thing. I think it's very great, especially for the price that you'll be paying. Which it really isn't that expensive when you look at all the other options out there, as far as uh, providers go. Alright, so let's start off with his hands. Obviously, as you can see, he comes with his closed fist hands already on. Okay. Well, next up, we have his open hands. Okay.
And then here are his, well these are open hands too, but these are much more relaxed. Okay. And lastly he has his demon hand. Which is pretty cool. When I see that, it reminds me of like the Dory, or the Doria, or whatever his name is from Naruto. All right, again, you know, continue with the demon. We have his demon face here. Oh. We have his screaming face. His relaxing kind of face, kind of like, well, I don't know. This is kind of like that serious look. Like I'm about to mess you up. <laughs> oh, but then this is his hair piece that comes with it. This is for the demon head. You just throw that on there. And then lastly, which are his pretty awesome effects, are his divergent fist effects. You know, with Megami coming with a demon head or demon face squall, I wonder if they're going to release like a black flash effect for Yuji. Okay, but enough about Yuji. Let's go ahead and move on to um, Gojo. All right. So for Gojo... Again, let's start off with his um, his hand that can represent many things as far as it can be power level or your your mini me. I mean a lot of things, but this is actually a very expressive hand and very um, can be useful and adaptable in a lot of situations. So that was interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that in the show that I can recall. Now we're going to set out our start for our paired hands. These are the only two that are identical, just one left and one right. They're pretty much a pair of hands. Now moving forward, each one of these hands are going to be different and unique. So first we have, this is just for his, I think his purple effect. When he's letting it go off. This hand is for his blindfold, to remove his blindfold or to bring it down. This is for his domain expansion, infinite. And then this hand um, is for an another effect of his, but I thought it was for, for example, putting on Yuji's hands, so it's like... He's grabbing Yuji's hand and punching him. Like on the show, he did that to the lava guy. But I'm not sure exactly what these hands are for. I think it's for the, another one of his abilities. Okay. We have his blindfold here. And then his unmasked head, which turned out very, very good. Again, SH Figure Arts is, does awesome work for anime. And then lastly, we have his laughing face. All right, well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you all found this informative. And I'm sure there's there's obviously more videos out there, so thanks for stopping by and watching mine. Um, got a lot of plans for the channel. 
I'm just a beginner and hopefully over the years I'll expand and become a lot better as a reviewer. So anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching. This has been A-Rad Money with Mars and we'll catch you next time. Peace.